Hi, this is Paul again. Welcome to Cubic Wonder Part 5. In my previous videos, I showed you all about the cube, the tetrahedron and the octahedron. Now I would like to cover the dodecahedron and the icosahedron. These are the remaining two platonic solids and are a member of the five-sided group. Okay, let's make a start. We now show a Plato cube and a Bucky cube. Now I'm going to hide the eight corner pieces of the Bucky cube and that will leave us a cube octahedron. I'm now changing the vertices into little yellow spheres then they look like atoms. Okay, now take a look at what I've discovered. All these pieces of the two cubes will change perfectly into a dodecahedron and an icosahedron. Isn't that something? Now I'm going to add another two cube octahedrons and I'm going to put another Plato cube in. You could use an unlimited amount of cubes for this demo. I'm just going to use five just to see what's happening. I think it's now easy to see that you can have an infinite number of cubic wonder and they could all change into spherical shapes. I think this is a major breakthrough for cubic wonder because the connection between the five-sided is very, very important. Scholars like Plato used to say that everything is based on the five platonic solids. Okay, let's go to the dodecahedron on its own. There are eight vertices in the dodecahedron and they will form a cube. The edges of the 40-piece Plato cube are 100 and the little green cube is 50, exactly the same measurement of a Chico cube. This is the smallest dodecahedron that I could make. We will now focus on the Chica section of the dodecahedron. I show three little spheres cherry color. These are golden ratio spheres and are very important. I've also made the diagonal of the Chica yellow. The Chico will be purple. These are very important to know which is which. Now I show the three cherry spheres rotating anti-clockwise around the yellow diagonal. This is a Chica diagonal. Now if it rotated around the purple diagonal, it would have gone clockwise. Everything will be different on the icosa. They will be the direct opposite. Now I've made a sphere around all the vertices of the dodeca. I've left the face of that Chica open so you can see some measurements. I also show the golden ratio. Okay, now for the icosa. What I'm going to do now is rotate everything around and make the Chico cube the common to the both and make it in a nice position to view. This seems a nice position to hang on to. I show a purple Chico and a yellow Chica cube. Notice that the yellow and purple triangles are provided with three gold spheres. These are the golden ratio spheres just like the dodeca. Now notice that the three spheres of the Chica cube, they are rotating clockwise this time. And the Chico spheres, they work the opposite. This angle of rotation comes to 22.239. The dodeca showed 37.761. The both add up to 60 degrees spot on. You can't do better than that. That's sacred geometry. I show an octahedron. It's exactly the same size as that out of a Plato cube. It also shows the golden ratio between the icosa and this octahedron. I'm also giving you a sphere, just like I've done on the dodeca. This will give you some extra measurements. I show two three-dimensional dodecahedron icons. They are on each end of the diagonals that I show in front of you. I also show an icosahedron icon. These are in between the two dodecas. I think I'll use this idea for regular use because you can tell which is which. You will find these diagonals and this setup very, very useful because the old system is based on these diagonals, I'm pretty sure. From what we've learned earlier, I want to show you a helix running along them diagonals. Notice the cyan helix, the triple helix, it passes through the vertices of one face, then through the center, 
and out the other face giving it a 180 degree turn. This keeps on going so it will be 360 on the next one. So we'll just keep on going. I also show a triple helix coming in the other direction. This is a cherry color. As you can see this passes through the vertices of the dodeca. But the dodeca has also got a center vertex, the white one. But that is probably on the axis of the diagonal. I also could have done a helix for the Chico and Chica cubes. They would have been a little bit similar to the dodeca. Hopefully I'll give you some more on this in my next videos. Up until now there has been very little interest in this system of order. But I hope you realize that the work that I am doing is in virtual reality. It's not a theory. I was taught as a tradesman. Now I'd like to show you another discovery that I've made. We will focus in on the dodeca in the center. Now you see that the two one eighth segments of the dodeca, it changes back into the chico and chica cubes. Now you can see the chico and the chica are positioned in the plato cube in the center and they're positioned in the bucky cubes also. These are perfectly interrelated as I show in my previous videos. So let's put all the pieces back in the bucky cubes. Now look what you can do. The two bucky cubes will split just like I showed in my last video and they'll form the segments of a second generation of dodecahedron. It seems to be a perfect match. Okay, now let's form a cube of eight bucky cubes. Now we will slice these cubes down the same as those other two and we come up with a perfectly symmetrical truncated octahedron. And as you see, this truncated octahedron will change perfectly into a second generation of dodecahedron. Now you see that we have flat faces on this dodecahedron and I'm going to spherify it so that all the vertices have an equal radius from the center point. Now let's put some more pieces to the string and you can see how important this slicing ability is so that we can have a non-stop string of spheres in any direction. Now you can see that I'm only using one string. There are four strings to each cube. So you can see this could get pretty complex, but I think it's a perfect order. Okay, so we've shown the dodeca side. Let's have a look at the icosa side now. So what we'll do, we'll start with these two icosa segments and we'll change them back to the Chico and Chica cubes. So you can see in this setup, we are centered in the Bucky cube and we're surrounded by two Plato cubes. So let's fill these two Plato cubes up. So look what we have here again. It slices down just like I said in my last video and it makes two segments of a generation two icosahedron. Okay, let's bring those two cubes back and then we'll add another six cubes and make it an eight cube set of Plato cubes. Now we'll start slicing down all these cubes to see what we've got. And look, now we have a beautiful octahedron and it's going to change into a perfect Generation 2 icosahedron. I think we'll verify this as well for luck. So okay, I'm going to put another three of these together to show you the string. And I think I'm going to start finishing up on this one. I've gone to the third and the fourth generations in both the icosahedron and the dodeca. But that's going to have to come on another video. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for looking at the stuff that I put on video.